How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing a two days back-to-back cover-up. And this cover-up is gonna test me. It's juicy. It is a sweaty cover-up, man. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. like um the catholic themes like a mary or a saint okay. kind of like the angels too okay um and then i'm open to like animals as well the cover-up is really complicated so i'm hoping to find the perfect concept to do this project i got this one from like ganga in la Ganga, oh, oh, my oh, yeah, God. one of the artists there um so i did spend money on this one yeah um so i don't know if i i would like to preserve a little bit of it okay. um so maybe like playing along that a while to figure out what we were gonna do on the arm area just because it was complicated it's such a dark tattoo it, it has a solid black butterfly and traditional one of the two most complicated things to cover up it's gonna be a very overwhelming day I'm gonna have to breathe hey it's gonna be a good day you do have a little bit of hair baby hair. yeah baby hairs I'm still 21, so I hope it comes in, bro. From experience, my dude. It's over, it's over, bro. It's over for you, my dude. Uh, <laughs> I didn't grow one when I was 16, and it hasn't grown since. <laughs> and you said you got this done a year ago, right? A year and a half? A year and a half. Okay, gotta get in my stance. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What a stencil. What a beautiful stencil. You see how the face, whenever you wear short sleeves, that's what you're gonna see. So it's gonna be very, you know, aesthetic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, I can feel everything. <laughs> Every line, bro. I can see them in the hair. Conmigo ella se pierde. Oh, nice. What's going through your mind right now? Placement, aligning. I think uh, what it is, is making sure that I put the planets where they belong. Get it! Dude, if I, go, if I go next to Kenny right now and I start dancing, he's still gonna start dancing with me. Bad. Like for no reason. But I don't. Uh. <laughs> he was lying. Yeah? And that too? Tomorrow. That is crazy, huh? Let's get it! How does it feel? Not bad. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Not bad. The first thing I'm doing is I'm starting with my 17 curve mag to do the background. It is very important for me to start with the background. The reason why is because I want to figure out how bright I can make the face look because I know on the top part of this tattoo, I'm gonna have to go really dark to be able to do the cover up. <laughs> I really like how much contrast the face has so it opens up the possibility on how legible the face can be from afar. The key to the face of the Buddha is to not rush it and be consistent with the transition of the shades from dark to light. Also, make sure to step back a lot to make sure you're not going too dark or not dark enough. For this part, I'm doing something a little bit different. I will be using nothing but solid black and my 11 curve mag because I want to give it a different look than everything else. It will also heal very differently. The way I will be achieving different shades with solid black is by controlling the pressure and the speed of my hand. It will also take a lot of patience. The only thing that's not changing is my voltage, which is 5.0. Skin complexion can play a huge role in how much contrast you can add, so you're gonna have to adapt depending on the client's skin. 
So whatever worked on this tattoo might not work on the next project. I do want to mention that if you want to try this technique, you got to be really careful because if you put a little too much pressure, you're going to end up with a black dot in the middle of a smooth area. Another thing I want to say is that if you're going to be running your machine at 8 or 9, this technique might not work out because the machine is going to be moving way too fast for the hand speed that the piece is going to turn out really dark. I'm using the 5.0 voltage so it can allow me to take my time, breathe, relax, and be able to do those smooth transitions. I don't know if I can rock neck tattoos or face tattoos actually. It has to be <laughs> crazy nice. Crazy nice? Yeah. I mean, what's, what's, what's something nice that I can put on my face? Uh, I'll do some wings. Do some wings on what is the... A little cross? A little cross? Oh, on the face? I, you know what I was thinking? Let me, let me lay an idea on you. Okay. Uh, like a cheetah with green eyes with the mouth open. You can tell you just thought about it right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mouth open, like on the neck, eyes looking at you, yeah. with the mouth open. That sounds like a cover up to me. No, <laughs> you're, the, you're the one that's gonna be doing it, what the heck? I wouldn't do it, yeah, first of all. I will guide you into not doing it. <laughs> For the butterfly cover-up, unfortunately, I couldn't record much because I was in my zone and very focused. That part was the hardest part of this cover-up, but luckily, the texture of the hair allowed me to finesse it and be able to cover it up. The planet was very challenging. I had to make sure that I was not going too dark, but I did need it to go dark because the traditional face was not going to disappear, especially because it was extremely scarred, so I had to be really careful. I'm using my 14 rod liner with a voltage of a 5.0, and I'm carefully adding texture with my scribble technique. 
I will also be using what he already had to help me create a different depth of the planet. Heavy lines are really complicated to cover up, so what I'm doing here is I'm just adding heavy texture to be able to make those lines disappear. At this point I realized that my black is way heavier than the hair so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the hair to my advantage and create a different type of texture with it. On this part of the planet, I want to make sure that it looks really bright, so I'm not gonna use a lot of texture. My goal is to almost leave it empty because this area is gonna help me out a lot. I added so much contrast around the planet that that area is gonna make everything look even and balanced out. Oh. Alright, I'm ready. Oh! <laughs> That's too saucy. You made it. You made it! So, just got done with day one of uh, this outer sleeve cover up. Man, at the end, he was kind of struggling, not even gonna lie, so I had to finesse it. Uh, just because I know it's tough, you know, it's tough getting the, the tricep uh, tattooed and. Man, like he was tough. Honestly, he sat like a rock all day. So towards the end, I could, he was still sitting like a rock, but I knew he was hurting. So I had to, you know, kind of navigate a little bit more, communicate with him, asking him, how does this feel? Just to make sure that um, he was fine. The last thing I wanted was for him to uh, pass out or something. Everybody was at the shop. It was such a great day. Now I'm a Chick-fil-A in line i'm gonna get some food so i can go home and eat with my wife and relax no excuses let's go son let's go bam, 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 yeah. nah that's pretty good sleep was it hurting um only like when i was in the shower and like i had a like rub on it uh -huh. and like pat it down pat dry it but that was pretty much it yeah it doesn't hurt Oh, that's fresh. Yeah, <laughs> see how it goes all the way back there too? Oh yeah, no, that's dope. The challenging part about today is working around a tattoo that he got done by another artist and the tattoo is very small so I have to make sure that I connect it and make it look good with the outer sleeve that I'm doing.
there is a lot of lines on this castle so the feathers of the owl is gonna help me out a lot to be able to improvise and be spontaneous to help me cover up those lines. What I like about owls is that I don't have to copy paste the image onto my client's skin because no matter how many things I take out or add, it's still gonna look like an owl so that is very important and it's gonna help me out a lot to cover up this piece. Right now I'm using my Severman liner with a voltage of a 5.0. On this area I'm gonna take my time to do the texture because the piece is already dark. So I wanna make sure that this area looks really bright and legible. Now I'm adding my medium gray to give it a different depth and dimension. The medium gray that I'm adding in between the negative space of the black is allowing it to make it look more realistic. I stepped back and I noticed that I had added a little too much gray, so I went back to my solid black to add more contrast. Today's more relaxing, huh, than yesterday? A bit, yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's a smaller piece, so. Yeah, towards the end you were feeling it. Right? When I was at the bank, they're asking me like, they're like, how long is the tattoo? I'm like. Uh, 10 hours today, 10 hours, or 10 hours yesterday, 10 hours today, they're like, no, they knew about you too. Oh yeah? Yeah, because they're like, oh, who are you going to? I'm like, oh, uh, Mr. Reyes, and they're like, oh, I know, Reyes Inc. They're like, yeah. <laughs> To do the eyes, I'm first gonna be applying my yellow. Once I'm done with my yellow, I'm gonna start mixing with my red so it can give me a bright orange. Once I'm done with my orange, I'm gonna start mixing with my brown so it can give me a dark shade of orange. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. Damn, I got so many, man, I, I was really sick like this weekend. I was so sick and I feel like my nose still uh, stuffed. Still, is that is that the word you say? Is that how you say it? Stuffed. I don't know, that doesn't sound right. The point is I'm better now. But drop a comment, let me know what you think about this, <laughs> this complicated cover up. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.